Hey guys, what's up? This is Israel. I'm going to be making a quick tutorial to show you guys how to apply and edit materials in Fusion 360. So I'm going to start off by showing you the different ways that you can apply it. You can go into the render mode and apply your appearance materials there. Uh, or you can go into the regular mode and go to modify and go to appearance material. Notice that you also have physical materials, but we're going to do appearance materials now. I'm going to be closing the tabs that I have open. Um, and then I'm going to go into the metal, aluminum, anodized, glossy red and apply it to this part. I'm going to go into carbon fiber and uh, drag and drop into the part. Notice I'm going to click edit material and I'm going to change the scale to 38. That way it can look a little bit more realistic. Notice that the bottom part is also fiberglass and that is because it is one body and the reason I did that is because I wanted to show you that you could also apply materials to individual bodies. So that's what I'm doing right here. I just changed my option from bodies components to faces. I'm going to go to metal aluminum and I'm going to be applying the hexagon mesh. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want it to appear as if it was a 3D printed hexagon mesh. Now, notice that uh, I applied the face only, but then I applied the body and it asked me to remove and I said yes. And that immediately gets rid of the previous material. So now I'm going to be applying it to the rest of the parts. I'm going to change back to face and apply it only to the top part of the foot. I'm going to be editing the material by right clicking on the icon and click edit and I'm just going to change the slider to change the color. I'm going to add the, the same material to the rest of the parts. And then I'm going to apply uh, polish aluminum to the cylinder and I'm going to apply the red anodized to the top cylinder. But I'm going to go back and change the, the color of the material a little bit more. So now I'm just going to uh, apply a gray anodized uh, glossy to the rest of the parts that I have here. Simply just dragging and dropping. At this point, I'm pretty happy with the overall appearance of the design so i'm going to close the window and go to the render mode um, at this point you can start rendering uh, if you wanted to i'm going to be making a quick tutorial on how to render this particular model uh, so please stay tuned and let me know if you have any questions have a good one guys